exhibit symptoms such as cough or fever, they should present themselves to the nearest health facility for testing. Number four, we have suspended learning in all our education institutions with immediate effect. Consequently, and to facilitate a phased approach, primary and secondary day schools are to suspend operations from tomorrow. For those in boarding schools, the school administration is to ensure that students are home by Wednesday the 18th, March 2020, while universities and tertiary institutions are to close by Friday, 20th March 2020. Where possible, as number five, government offices, businesses, and companies are encouraged to allow employees to work from home with the exception of employees working in critical or essential services. Number six, in order to avoid the risk of transmission through physical handling of money, we encourage the use of cashless transactions such as mobile money, M-Pesa and otherwise, and credit cards. And we appeal to mobile operators and banks to take note of the situation that we are in and to reduce the cost of transactions during this period. Number seven, in line with the directive to avoid crowded places, citizens are encouraged to A, avoid congregating, including in places of worship, B, minimize attendance to social gatherings, including weddings and funerals, and restrict the same to immediate family members. C, we call for people to avoid crowded places, including shopping malls and entertainment premises. And D, to minimize congestion in public transport whenever possible. And lastly, E, the limitation of visitors to hospitalize patients in both public and private hospitals. Number eight, hospitals and shopping malls are encouraged to provide soap, water, hand sanitizers, and ensure that all their premises are regularly cleaned and disinfected. Fellow Kenyans, globally, the impact of the virus is still unfolding. I want to assure you that my administration is at the forefront of assessing, containing, and managing this pandemic in our country. Some of the causes, some of the measures that we have taken today may cause inconvenience, but I want to assure you that they are designated and designed to ensure that we effectively contain the spread of this deadly virus. I want to appeal to each and every one of you to strictly observe these measures 
But I would also appeal for calm. Kenyans, please let us avoid misinformation that causes panic and anxiety. Let us all remember that as Kenyans, we have been faced with other crises in the past, but we have always triumphed by coming together in the spirit of national unity and cooperation. Every single Kenyan has a responsibility and a duty to play his or her part in safeguarding our nation and the lives of our people. There is no doubt that this pandemic will test us, as, is it, as, is it, as it is testing all countries in every corner of the globe. But I don't believe that it will defeat us. If we pull together and everybody does their part, we shall, with God's grace, overcome the worst impacts of this virus. I want to take this opportunity to thank you members of the Fourth Estate for your support, especially in avoiding to sensationalize, but rather provide information that can be and is being useful to Wanainchi. Let us work together. May God bless you all, and may God bless Kenya. I'll take just two questions, and then I will call some of my colleagues here. Two. Yes, ma'am. We are working very closely with counties, and just as I thanked uh, uh, members of the media for the good work they are doing, especially in this particular uh, case, I also want to take this opportunity to thank county governments across the country who are also taking decisive measures to ensure that they have um, um, isolation facilities in each of their counties. I know a good number have, I know Meru, Kisumu, Nakuru, Mombasa, Machakos, just to name a few. And I'm sure the minister will be able to give you a much more detailed brief on that. But I must say that we are indeed working very closely with county governments. We appreciate the way they have come out strongly. And we will continue to partner together to ensure that we defeat this disease. Aya, whichever one of you. Because you're taller, we're going to be able I, I want to assure you that uh, we are doing everything possible. And uh, they are indeed being briefed. They are just going through the testing uh, uh, phases. Indeed, the first uh, patient who uh, um, was our case number one, uh, I have been uh, reliably informed regularly by the ministry that she is doing well. They are indeed looking after her. 
And I want to assure all Kenyans that the government will ensure that any patient who has come into contact with this disease will be given full support to ensure that they are able to recover. As we know, it is not many, many across the globe have been infected but have also recovered. And we are very hopeful that uh, with treatment and we are learning each and every day that those in our country who will come into contact with this disease, we are very hopeful and are working very hard to ensure their full recovery. But we all know the risks, we all know the fatalities, we all know what has happened across the country. We are just saying that we will do everything in our power to ensure that we minimize loss of life and maximize recovery, uh, full recovery of all those who have been uh, affected by this virus. I think with that, I will just ask uh, C.S. Magoha just to say one word on the... Thank you, Excellency. I just want... Uh, but as of tomorrow morning, we expect all day scholars to remain at home, both in primary and secondary school. The logistics of the borders who will start moving between Tuesday and Wednesday, they should wait for our circular, which we shall send out tomorrow. And like His Excellency has said, the universities have up until Friday uh, to close. And it is for an indefinite period. We are working on all this together. And I think the, the, the running uh, cry is that there is no cause for alarm. Everything should be done in an orderly manner. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Just to uh, uh, emphasize the question that was again, Your Excellency, we have taken the, the, throughout the counties, not only are there uh, most of the level four and level five hospitals ready, they have extended some of them even to level three, even facilities up to level three. Some uh, counties have even created their own quarantine, huge quarantine uh, facilities. So it's a, national, it's a national movement now. This is our national movement, and everybody is taking their this government. I just want to mention, we are very grateful to, like we said, all who are playing their part, including our business people, our shop owners, our supermarket owners, our chemists, everybody who is playing their part. However, I would like to really emphasize uh, on one point that we shall also equally not entertain, you know, hoarding or raising prices to Mwanainchi, taking advantage of this situation to create uh, artificial short shortages so that Mwanainchi is made to pay more. The competition authority has already been given clear instructions and they will be moving around and anybody Anybody who is seen to have taken unnecessary and undue advantage of this particular crisis to make our citizens pay more than they should, serious and severe action will be taken against those who perpetuate in that ungodly act. So I just wanted to really emphasize on that. I'm sure... You probably have some more, uh, more technical questions. The National Emergency Response Team is here. I will leave uh, you, Bwanakatip um, Waziri, to continue on so that maybe you can give and answer some of the more technical questions that maybe these good people may have so that they can keep Wanainchi adequately informed. I thank you, and once again, God bless you all. Asante Nisan.
again, I apologize. The program today, as you know, was uh, somebody else's. But I think you are happy here. Yeah. You are happy to hear from him, are you not? Yeah. So the patience, I think, was well warranted. As far as the other issues are concerned, what I would propose to you, we will be having a briefing, as I said, every day. And we have got, um, and if there are any technical issues that arise between now and uh, what will obviously be your, your main thing, we'll be happy to, to, to deal with it tomorrow. Because at the moment, clearly what we wanted is the, those, main, those main issues. The rest of it is uh, every, day, every day, and what is coming out of uh, the situation. As I, I said earlier, this is our fluid and moving target. And you cannot really see what is going to be happening by tomorrow evening. So as it happens, we will let you know. And also, we, as I said, we are continuing to cooperate at all levels in any way. And if you, have, if you feel that there is something that is happening that you don't feel is matching up and meeting the level that we require, please call me. I'll be happy to respond. Not, it is those people who are in contact. It is those people. In fact, they were sitting with her in the plane. It is not even with her in a, somewhere here. They were sitting with her in the plane. So uh, those are the two people. The rest of them, the ones we have tested, even in her, in her neighborhood, as you know, we picked people there. We went and tested people. We went down and they measured. So far, so far, nothing. Are they Kenyans? They are Kenyans. One of them is a dual, dual citizen of British and uh, Kenyan origin, and the other one is a Kenyan. Thank you all very much indeed.